Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Learn Daily Physics. Um, today you can see on your screen that our topic got a lot of names, and uh, our topic today is fluid equation of plasma. It's also called equation of motion of fluid plasma and momentum equation of plasma. So today what we are going to do is we are going to find out the momentum conservation equation for plasma. So this is a very important topic that and interesting one also because teachers in this topic can confuse you by using these three terms. You know that uh, you have, if you have studied an efficient fluid equation of plasma, it's named as the equation of motion of fluid plasma there. So he can ask you to write the momentum equation of plasma or write the fluid equation of plasma. Then you have to write this thing that I'm going to show you right now. So let's go to our topic that equation of motion of charged particle is that uh, if we look here, we have a Lorentz force equation. So in the Lorentz force, F is equals to Q into E plus V cross P, where F is equals to M A and A is equals to dV by D. T. So the above equation is for the single particle, but the plasma there are number of charged particles. Okay, so this equation is only for a single particle. If we are talking about the Q is equals to one, N is equals to one for the charge. So then we have this equation valid. But when we have a bulk of charges, we have a, a lot of number of charges, then what we have to do, then we have to consider some of our assumptions to make our calculation more easier, okay? So our first assumption is that there is only one type of charged particle, say electrons. We know that in plasma, plasma is ionized form of gas and there we have a ions and electrons, positive charges and the negative charges. So for the positive charges, we are neglecting the existing of positive charges to make our self a, uh, in a previous lectures, we have seen, we are considering a crude model like that. So we are only assuming a one type of charge particle, say electron. Now what we are going to do is, there is a number of play can take place. We, we have seen, that uh, in our first chapter, we have seen that the criteria for plasma, there we have discussed that for the, for the plasma, we should have negligible collision. So we said that there is no thermal energy, no kinetic energy, and all of the average in a, uh, average velocity for that bulk of charges or electrons is same. I've told you in the previous lecture in detail this term that there is no collision take places between the particle. So if you are watching my previous lecture, you can understand what I'm trying to say is. So there is change in the pressure inside the plasma. So just like uh, when you have change in the pressure from the charges move, let's say that the charges move from low to higher pressure or from higher to lower pressure, okay? So just like air moves from, lower pressure to the higher pressure just like from the higher pressure to the lower pressure we say diffusion and uh, many other things osmotic osmotic pressures and everything we have but just like that there is a change in pressure and due to that change in pressure and the charges move what is that change in pressure what is that uh, force exerted by that Let's go and calculate that. So now what we are going to do is we are going to consider a dV element in plasma and we did as we did before. Let's have a look there on our board that what we have done previously. So say we have on the board. Um, previously we have talked about that we have a big container full of plasma and let's say this is a our container like this and inside of this container we have a small 
element d v this is the total volume and this is its element d v okay so now what we are going to do is uh, we have we have said that the n number of charges and the total number of charges are n uh, integration over v and we have calculated this in equation of quantity when we are talking about the equation of continuous continuity in our previous lecture we have seen these terms so now this d of v this d of v is this i have drawn here so let's move on that consider the dv element in the plasma here consider the dv element in the plasma n is equal to number of particles enclosed per unit volume for example this volume is of unit length then the number of particle enclosed by it will be equal to n so as we have seen that we have said that uh, we are considering only electrons here we our assumption was that there is only one type of charge is say electron then q will be equals to e now as q is equals to e and q will be equal to n e okay and the total q total is equals q t this is q total total charge is equals to n q because uh, let's say that we have 10 charges here in this cube then one have 1.6 multiplied 10 raised power 19 coulombs then 10 will have 10 into 1.6 multiplied 10 raised power 19 coulombs so q total will be equals to n q similarly mass total mass will be equals to the n m for example one one charge have one kilogram 10 charges will have 10 kilogram like that so when dv moves let's talk about net forces now we are going to calculate force drift and uh, when this dv moves for example when the bulk of charges move with average velocity with this average velocity which is same to the individual velocity so this f net is equals to f e m plus f pressure drift okay this is electromagnetic force is equals to the lorentz force but we have to calculate this force and uh, we are going to calculate this one now so this is net force we will write this this net force by the newton force this is m total a is equals to f electromagnetic plus f pressure drift okay here f electromagnetic is equals to lorentz force and this lorentz force is equals to this term now we are going to calculate this term okay so calculating this term we use of a definition of pressure that pressure is equals to force per unit area and writing area and because this is the volume element and this is, will be the area element and it is equals to the dy by d of z this term into this dy into d of z so when we take the derivative let's say gradient uh, of this dp by d of x it will be equals to df d x dy dz this is the volume element d of v is equals to dx dy dz which i have written here so as we know p is equals to mv and uh, we can in the impulse we can write change in pressure dp is equals to dp by d t is equals to f impulse in impulse we write f is equals to dp by dt similarly for the pressure drift this dp this minus term if we multiply minus here and here this will be cancelled out here i will tell you why we are using this minus sign so first have a look that this term here dp by dx just like dp by dt is equals to force this dp by d of x is also equals to force and this force is known as pressure force per unit volume which we call pressure drift force okay so for three dimension this will be converted into this del we operate this minus del of p so f pressure for the three dimension is equals to minus del of 
P. So, uh, ninety percent of our work is done now. We have understand what we have to do. Now, what we are going to do is we are putting this value and this one in this equation. So, putting the value in this equation, you, we can name this as equation number one. So, this equation will become if we name this equation as equation number one so this equation will become let's see that this equation will become this one putting these values and we know that e is a negative gradient of v and we can write this one as this so this u can be written as the time derivative of velocity use the velocity you can say average velocity or individual velocities both are same we consider that they both are same equal to each other so nq is equal to e plus u into v u cross p like this same as it is now what we are going to do is we are going to use our convective derivatives i've proved uh, i've made a lecture for the convective derivative in my previous lecture in the playlist you can also i will put the description the link in the description so you can see that when we have proved the convective derivative we have proved an equation uh, our final equation was d by dt is equal to partial by partial t plus u dot del we can write del dot u we can write u dot del because it obey commutative law we don't have any change in a dot product cross product gives us a minus sign but the dot products don't so we can write this term first and this term first it don't it doesn't matter so now putting this value of this term this value putting here in this equation okay when we put this value here our equation will be this multiplying this u inside the equation we will have is called momentum conservation equation which we have we will use in our next topic so today we have calculated the equation of motion of plasma and uh, we have also proved equation momentum conservation equation and uh, fluid equation of plasma so this was our lecture today and i hope you've enjoyed it and uh, thank you very much for watching my lecture assalamu alaikum and thank you very much for your time